Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Mercedes-Benz Trucks press conference. Our purpose is to drive sustainable transportation, and today I want to show you that we are working really hard on this and that we've already come a long way. And I think that after visiting this press conference and uh, maybe you go to one or two more press conferences today, you will see that our industry is really serious about the change to sustainable transportation. Today, I want to show you what Mercedes-Benz Trucks has planned, both our lineup of electric trucks, also services and solution, and of course, some exciting news in our conventional lineup. And as always, we've focused ourselves on the things that make a difference for our customers, highly efficient powertrains, advanced safety systems, and driving comfort. And I guess that by now you're curious to know more, so I'm very happy to introduce on stage Stina Fagerman, Head of Marketing and Sales, to tell you all about our new products. Good morning and a warm welcome also from my side. For the last 15 years, I have been working in this industry, in different areas of the world, having daily contact with, with customers. And what I've learned is the importance to really listen to customers' needs and feedback in order to make sure that they get the most out of, of their products and services. Therefore, I'm very pleased and happy to have experienced the customer dedication throughout Mercedes-Benz trucks. That's the approach for every new trucks and service no matter country, no matter segment. And that's true for the news that we're going to show you here today. Starting with a track just right next to me here, the Actors L. This is our premium long distance track. This is an excellent example how we have used customers' feedback in order to improve the product even better. The most visible improvement is the mirror cam. Here, we have shortened the camera arms with, by 10 centimeters, so now it has nearly the same perspective as a normal mirror, and that makes driving backwards much easier. Being shorter, collisions with objects at the edge of the road are now also very unlikely. The tone mapping on the cameras has also been improved, so the display shows contrast in a much better way. And that helps a lot while driving in the dark. So, summing it up, the mirror account will make daily work both easier and safer. Our customers asked for more driving dynamics and driving co comfort, and they got what they asked for. We are now introducing our third generation of drivetrain. In combination with our heavy duty engine OM471, our drivers will now benefit from fantastic driving performance. 40% faster gear shifts, more comfort as, as torque interruption is clearly reduced, and on top, customers will experience up to 4% less fuel consumption. It will be available on all our heavy-duty models and come to, into production as of October this year. Summing it up, I think both the mirror cam as well as the drivetrain is an excellent example of how we listen to our customers' need and are proving our, our products after their needs. We did use the same approach for our Actors F. We want our customers to get more out of this product. It is still dedicated to customers that focus on functionality, but we are making features available in order to improve efficiency, safety, and driver's comfort. So that's the reason why we call the new offer Actors F+. So, what have we then added additional features? Firstly, the new mirror cam, along with other safety systems like Active Drive Assist. Secondly, the multimedia cockpit. And of course, our Actors F Plus comes with a third generation of engine. That means fuel reduction and more driving dynamics. So, even if you're focused on functionality, you will be happy to get more out of the new Actors F Plus. Now let's have a look at something special, dedicated to our truck drivers. 
They are our everyday heroes. They are the ones that bring out food, material, and medicine to where it's needed. They deserve our recognition. Without them, a lot would stop working. And with drivers in mind, we are now introducing our edition three. It just takes one look to see that it stands out from any other track, even a highly equipped standard Actors L. It does so easily thanks to over 30 special features, both on the exterior as well as on the interior of the track. This is a limited edition. We will only deliver 400 units to make sure the driver has a very special piece of our brand. So this is our improved diesel lineup. I think our team did an excellent job, and now I'm so eager to hear our customers' feedback. And now, Karin will tell you more about our zero emission vehicles. Yep, let's look at zero emission transport now. And we have done this 100% the Mercedes-Benz trucks way. Our electric trucks are the real deal. And what do I mean by that? Well, we carried over all the features from our conventional lineup in terms of safety, comfort, and reliability. And we were convinced that in order to make a really great truck, we couldn't just take a diesel truck and electrify it. We had to make a truck which was really designed to be electric from the start. And therefore, we developed the e-axle with two e-motors close to the wheels, which gives our trucks better range and better efficiency than what would have been possible with a central engine and a propeller shaft. We now have a complete range for urban transport. The e-actress for heavy distribution that we introduced over a year ago and which is now in series production. The e-econic, which is in series production since a few months back for municipal and waste applications as well as the truck that we're showing here today for the first time, the e 300 tractor. This truck can pull all standard European semi-trailers, and it's got three battery packs, a range of 220 kilometers, and we will go into series production during next year. We've also started working on the medium-duty Atego. It will be our electric truck for the medium segment. Lastly, for light-duty, we've been offering the e-canter for many years, already since 2017. It's very popular amongst our customers, and I'm happy that we will introduce the next generation start of production during next year with much more variants and a modular battery design. So far, the feedback from our customers is great. They love our electric trucks. Please have a look for yourselves. Der Mercedes-Benz E-Actros bietet mit seiner neuen E-Achse ein sehr effizientes Antriebskonzept. Wir Fahrer sind natürlich begeistert von der Lautstärke, die eben halt nicht mehr vorhanden ist. Yeah, in order to tackle all those challenges, we really appreciate the uh, e-consulting accompaniment from Daimler. It helps us to address the right topics. Das Fahrzeug bietet unseren Fahrern einen sehr komfortablen und modernen Arbeitsplatz. Das liegt natürlich an dem fast unterbrechungsfreien Vortrieb und an dem geräuscharmen Fahrantrieb. Toll ist natürlich auch, dass man für die Umwelt was bewegt, wenn man eben halt mit Elektro fährt und nicht mit Diesel. Insgesamt für den Fahrer ist das schon eine spannende Sache. Now, the next truck that I want to talk about today is our e-Actros Long Haul. We revealed it for the first time yesterday, and we want to go into series production as early as 2024. We already had an almost overwhelming response with lots of interest, pictures, reports, and I think that when you see this truck, you agree with me that it looks really, really awesome. In the long haul segment, uh, I met a lot of customers who are still hesitant on switching to e-mobility. They worry about range and where to charge. They worry about the higher upfront investment of an e-truck. 
And they also wonder, does this truck really work as well as a diesel truck? Can I trust it? Is it dependable? Is it reliable? So it's not just for us to supply the perfect vehicles. We really have to think holistically at how we solve our customers' problems. To grow ease of mind, we will offer both comprehensive consulting, helping our customers to set up their electric fleets, also, of course, as always, our full service package, MB Complete with MB Uptime. Daimler Truck Financial Services will support financing attractively not just the vehicle, but also the infrastructure. Our new battery technology, LFP, lithium iron phosphate, offers more range and longer service life. It's much more durable with regards to charging and driving, so we get more usable energy out of the battery, which means we get more range. Charging the battery will be fast and easy, as this truck is enabled for megawatt charging, meaning we can go from 20% to 80% state of charge in well under 30 minutes. And this truck will have a range of 500 kilometers on one charge. And we actually know that 60% of long haul trips in Europe are 500 kilometers or shorter, which means that many of our customers can transition into e-mobility without having to rely on public charging and just getting set up with charging in the depot. For those who have longer, more demanding routes and do need public charging, we are working in a joint venture together with Volvo and Trayton to set up charging infrastructure for heavy-duty trucks in Europe. Last but not least, we designed the e-Actros to meet the same durability requirements that we have for all of our trucks, and that is, it will last at least 1.2 million kilometers over a holding period of 10 years. So this will be a Mercedes-Benz truck as you know it, durable, reliable, but without the CO2 emissions. One more thing that's good to know about operating cost. The energy consumption of the e-Actros long haul is actually less than half of that compared to a conventional diesel truck. So for a customer, Typically, having the vehicle five years, maybe 120,000 kilometers a year, the total operating cost will be lower and, and it will be very competitive. Now, today I talked a lot about electric truck. Does that mean we now abandon the fuel cell? Well, of course not. We still believe we be, that we will need both fuel cell and electric to transition to a zero emission future. And we also think that we will need fuel cell both to have enough green energy available and also because fuel cell makes sense for longer, more demanding routes. There are a few more things I wanna say about services and solutions. We really want our customers to feel that we got their backs. So here at the IAA, we're launching Truck Live, which is a free of charge digital service, which gives our customers an overview of their entire fleet. We're also investing in retail to improve our retail network, and we are making significant investments in our spare parts logistics to improve the availability for spare parts for our customers. I mentioned earlier that it's even more important to think holistically when it comes to e-mobility, so I'm happy to have Stina back with me to tell you all about what we're doing. Thank you, Karin. Happy to do that. Ladies and gentlemen, just imagine that you're a fleet owner for a second, and you're right now thinking of buying electrical trucks for the first time. That's when many questions might come to your head. Questions like, can e trucks cover the same routes as Medisa trucks in summer, in winter, in rainy conditions? And how many charging stations do I really need in my depot? Or can I apply for tax reductions? Uh, yes, you could find out the answers to all these questions by yourself. However, if you like, you could also talk to our consultants. They will help you with route analysis, infrastructure planning, 
cost analysis, and integration into your operation, and many more questions that you might have. Imagine that you're a fleet manager now. You are ready to operate your first electrical fleet. Questions that you might have then would be then, what's the charging status of track number three? I saw there's a huge traffic jam in the middle of its route. Or could I send track number five for an additional tour? Is there enough battery left? And of course, you could call your drivers throughout the day to ask those questions. However, I would like to recommend you to use our digital service called Mapping. In it, you see all the tracks in real time on a map. You can see if they are driving, charging, and get all the information on battery level, consumption, remaining range, and so much more. Then, once at night, you might ask yourself, I have more tracks than charging station. How do you make sure they are short and ready when I need them? Then I would recommend you to use charge management and tell the charging station when, how, and which tracks to charge. And in order to grow your knowledge about the relationship between battery level, range, and tours, and other factors to influence, you could use our logbook, which shows all details of a tour, including topography, acceleration, and battery temperature. It helps you to really get to know your tra tracks, to get a feeling for them, to trust them. Well, there was a, this was a short journey into the minds of our customers, showing you all the questions, some of the questions they must tackle when setting up and operating an electrical fleet. And I hope that you also have an idea that we really want to do our utmost in order to support them on this journey. We are truly excited to lead the way to sustainable transportation with our customers. Thank you, Stina. It was really great having you all here today, quite a big crowd, um, to show you all the things we're working on. From the Actress L with the new mirror cams and the 4% improved fuel reduction, to our urban lineup with the E-Actress for heavy distribution, the E-Econic, and the E-Actros 300 tractor. To our services and solutions to support all of these products, and of course also the E-Actros long haul with 500 kilometer range and LFP technology. I'm actually really proud of what we're doing, and I feel like we've come a long way. Sure, we still have some steps to take, or actually quite many steps to take, but I feel confident and I think that you will agree with me after being here today that we're already on a good progress. And I hope you feel also that we want to drive the transition of the industry. We want to thank all of you for being here today. Thank you to those of you joining via the live stream. This concludes our press conference. You're of course welcome to stay here in our booth or come back later. Stina and me and our whole team are very excited to talk more to you about how we will change the industry. Here in Hanover, we're focusing on electrification and how to help our customers transition to zero emission technology. So we're showing the e-actors here behind me for the first time for long haul, but we also have a lot of other exciting news. And we try to make a stand which really shows also that we think holistically on our customers' problems, both with the vehicles, but also with good services to support their business. Yeah, the, the E-Actress Long Haul is the one you see right here behind me. It's a very important product for us because it's the first one for the long haul segment and that's the one that's hardest to decarbonize, but also the one with the highest potential. So yes, it's a very, very important product. I think for sure that this truck is uh, an alternative to conventional trucks. We have a 500 kilometer range on one charge, and we know that many customers run less than 500 kilometers per trip. 
So it can definitely go in and compete uh, with diesel on many routes already today. Well, this is still just a prototype that we're showing here today. So the series vehicle will look actually even better. And there we will also add some more technical features. I think more batteries will come on it and so on. But it's, it's a good representation of what the series truck will look like. Well, in this booth here today, we have not just the trucks, but also a lot of focus on services and solutions, our digital services, our own captive Daimler Truck financial services for the first time, but also really, really a good lineup of electric trucks with the e-Actros long haul, the e-Econic, and the e-Actros for heavy distribution, both as a rigid and as a tractor. And of course, also the next generation Fuso e canter So it's a very, very nice setup and a very, very good lineup that we're showing. Wow. But one of the reasons why we are betting on both fuel cell and electric is that we think that the infrastructure will be a challenge. And we see that it's actually less expensive to set up this double infrastructure than to try to set up just an electric infrastructure due to all the investments that would need to happen in the grid. Uh, but for sure, we need even more initiatives, both with green energy, hydrogen and electricity, that we build more renewable energy and also even more initiatives related to charging infrastructure. Well, we want to be emission-free in Europe by 2039 and completely emission-free by 2050.